Good morning, Mr. Schweitzer. Very happy to be with you this morning. We are at the end of a year very rich uh, in the French-Japanese relation. How would you describe this relation today? I think the economic and political relations between France and Japan are very good. I mean, there are no conflict. There has been a great support by France of the EU-Japan trade agreement, which is positive. Uh, direct investment in Japan is very successful. Cooperation between companies from the two countries is working well. I can bear testimony to that. I think they are not as active and strong as I would like them to be. Uh, let's say first that for French exports, uh, the impact of the disappearance of obstacles to exports from France to Japan has not fully taken place yet. And we hope that this will happen over the following year. I think that direct investment of Japan in France is not as strong as it should be. Japan has chosen UK for many years. And I think today, if you think again, France is probably a better place to invest in. Lower costs than in Germany, high quality, a good workforce. So I believe there's room for expanding these rules. What is the, the main uh, factor to change this mindset? Is it uh, exchange of human resources? Is it experience? Is it pure rationality? Well, some impacts are rationality. There is a major issue which I always stress, which is the language barrier. Uh, it's disappearing in France. Uh, French industrialists and even workers speak English. Japanese do not have ease of use, even of the English language. So there's something more. I think knowledge should be improved. The number of Japanese studying in France, knowing well France, is not very high. And so there I think it can be also improved. And uh, maybe our Japanese friends are accustomed to customs, if I may say so. So they got used to investing in the UK. And I believe they could think again. Japanese companies seem to have a hard time, especially manufacturing companies, in, in becoming global in terms of human resources. Do you think they have uh, something to, to gain from the French example in this, of French companies? Well, being... I think uh, they, the Japanese companies are very attached to their home base, in a way like German companies, and it is in many ways an advantage. But I think they have a problem which is linked to the education of their executives. Uh, Japanese uh, courses in university does not include a stay in a foreign country. And I believe that brings a sort form of insularity, which is an obstacle to a good expansion of Japan. And I find it striking that there are so many more Korean or Chinese students abroad than Japanese students. And I think over time, this is a major disadvantage for the Japanese economy. But are you worried that the social climate in France, which as we see is still uh, very tense, is a hurdle in the attractiveness of It France? is probably a psychological hurdle. It is not a real hurdle. If I look at the experience of Japanese companies in France, they have addressed social issues very well and the level of, let's say, strike in France is lower than in Germany, lower than in most European countries. So France has an image, maybe from 20 or 30 years ago, which still has an impact, but which does not correspond to reality. Mr. Schweitzer, thank you very much. You're most welcome. <laughs>